In this problem, we're asked to find the slope of the line shown in the graph. Uh, the key to this is we really have to, if, if we're using a, a graph, a line that's been, been graphed, we need to look for whole number coordinates. Uh, otherwise, it gets a little hairy. Is it is it here? Is it there? But if it's at an actual uh, whole number coordinate for both x and y, then we have a better chance of finding the correct slope. So first off, let's look at the line that we've been given, and let's look for any of those whole number coordinates. So here we have, on the y-axis, we have 0, negative 2 as one of our points. And if we look for another whole, we have another one down here at 3, negative 6, where the arrow is. So our two points that we've identified are 0, negative 2, and 3, negative 6. So we w what we want to find is slope m, which equals rise over run. Or in other words, the change and y over the change in x. Uh, typically we'll go from left to right, but as long as we go the same direction for both the top and the bottom, we should be okay. So let's look at, first off, what's our rise? We're starting at negative 2, and we're going down to negative 6. So this is our rise right here from negative 2 to negative 6 so we're going down 4 units so our rise is negative 4 the change in y is negative 4 we're going 4 down now what's the change in x we're going from x equals 0 to x equals 3 so our run is going to be from 0 to 3 and that's going to equal 3 3 minus 0 so our slope of the line that we've been given in the graph is negative 4 thirds for every four units of y we go down, we go three units to the right. So the rise over run, the change in y over the change in x is negative four thirds. 